Hi, I'm an illustrator in 12-step recovery. In uh, recovery meetings, 12-step meetings, you'll often hear the uh, serenity prayer recited. It's the one that goes, God grant me the serenity to accept things I cannot change. Uh, it's not actually written by anyone who was in the 12-step movement, but it was written at the same time in, in the 1930s as the original uh, big book of, of Alcoholics Anonymous is credited widely to a theologian named Reinhold uh, Rebor. Now, I looked up the key words that I saw in the Serenity Prayer because I really had gotten in the habit of just reciting the prayer like blah, 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 blah. I didn't really think about it. I didn't really understand or, or know or mean what I was saying. For help, I turned to a dictionary that was that was relevant. It was the, the most recently published dictionary when both the Serenity Prayer and the Twelve Steps were written, which is the 1930s. I asked God for the serenity to accept the things that I can. I looked up the word can. I thought I knew exactly what it would say, right? It's going to say things you're able to do. Things you're able to do. You're able to do. I can open a door. I'm able to open a door. That wasn't the definition. And they always listed the most uh, important definition first in that dictionary. Can in 1934 meant, <clears throat> excuse me, to know how to. To know how to. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I know how to change. Wow, that was a different prayer to me. Uh, I thought I was praying like a person who's, uh, what would you say, incompetent or impotent. I didn't know, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't able to change anything. I wasn't able to. I was physically unable. Just like a person without legs could not walk, I could not change things. This definition called me to a completely different consideration of that word. Do I know how to change something? Well, the truth is, there are a lot of things I don't know how to do. A lot of things. I don't know how to speak uh, um, Croatian. I don't know how to build a catapult. I don't know how to play the oboe. There are a lot of things I don't know how to do. Uh, but a lot of them I can learn. If I really wanted to, I could learn it. So I'm not cut off from that possibility. I'm not like a man who's lost his legs and will never walk again. So I decided to make a drawing to remind me of what my real situation is when I pray the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to change the things I can. I always thought I was so baffled by my own incompetence. My knowledge was so flawed that I had problems I could never figure out and that I needed God, a huge, you know, powerful God to show me how to do this because I didn't know how to fix my problems, not even the simple ones. And this is a drawing that reminds me there are plenty of things I can do. Now, you can kind of see where this is going, but if you've never seen one, this is a water pipe or a gas pipe and here's a valve, and it's simply an on-off valve. Normally, if you switch the lever down, the, the, the gas or water start, stops flowing. If you switch it up, the uh, fluid starts flowing. Uh, it's simple. Not like this. It's simple. Do you know how to run this valve? I don't. Do you know how to run this valve? I do. So when I'm praying to God, I say, God, uh, grant me the serenity to do the things I know how to do. That puts the power back in my hands to do the things I know how to do and stop my bad habit of turning every situation into a complicated, confusing mess. You can read more at 12drawings.com. Uh, thanks so much for listening.